Hi, welcome to the Georgia Permit Application System training video. Once you are in your web browser, click in your address bar and type dot.ga.gov and press enter. Next, hover over the Business and Government menu. Move down to Permits and hover over Permits and click Georgia Permit Application System. If this is the first time you are accessing the Georgia Permit Application System, you must first create an account. To do so, click the Create Your GPAS Account button. Enter your email address, first and last names, and the phone number. When adding a phone number, indicate whether the phone is a landline or a mobile phone. If you choose a mobile phone, you are presented with a checkbox asking you to give the system authorization to send text messages with application login verification codes to your cell phone. If you approve of the system sending you the verification codes to your cell phone, check the send verification code via mobile text checkbox. Next, confirm the email address listed is the official email for you and or your company. Once you've entered all of the required information on the Create Account form, click Register. This training video will walk you through the steps for your initial login and subsequent logins to the Georgia Permit Application System. Once you are in your web browser, click in your address bar and type dot.ga.gov and press Enter. Next, hover over the Business and Government menu. Move down to Permits and hover over Permits and click Georgia Permit Application System. Once you are at the login screen, first type your email address and then click the Send Verification Code button. You are presented with the question, how would you like to receive the verification code? Via text message, email, or both? Choose one. In this example, we are choosing email and click Send. Next, check your email for the verification code. In the email, you will see the verification code. Notice there is a message indicating that the validation code is only valid for 60 minutes. If the time expires, please request a new verification code. Select and copy the validation code. Go back to the login screen and paste the verification code in the verification code field and click Login. Because this is the first time you are logging in to the Georgia Permit Application System, you will be directed to your profile page to update your profile. Click OK to go to your profile page. Once on the profile page, choose the applicant type. Choose whether you are representing a company, you are the property owner, represent the local government, or you are with the MTA. In this example, we will choose company. When typing the company name, the Look Ahead feature populates the company name list. If your company name is not there to select, continue to type it and move to the next field to update. Continue completing all required fields. When you created your account, if you chose the option to have your verification code sent to you via text message, this checkbox is checked. This checkbox is confirming that your carrier message and data rates may apply. Click the Update Profile button to continue. The next step is to associate an address with your profile. You may choose a city from the list, or you may type in the name of the city. After entering your address, click the Update button. Once you've completed your profile, you are now eligible to submit permit applications. The next time you log into the Georgia Permit Application System, you will be taken to the home page. To access your profile, click on the My Profile button. Hi, welcome to the Submitting a Permit Request training tutorial. This training video will walk you through the steps to initiate a permit request. To initiate a permit request, point to and hover over the Permits menu in the top center. An Apply for Access Permits option will appear. Click Apply for Access Permit. You are brought to the application main information screen. 
You're presented with a checkbox asking if you are the applicant. Leave this unchecked if you are a contractor applying for an access permit on behalf of someone else. If you are a contractor and are not the applicant, you are required to complete all of the applicant information beginning with the applicant type. Please note, the email address entered here is the email address where all documents which require a DocuSign are sent. In this example, we will move forward as the applicant. Because you are logged into the system, it will populate your information from your profile. All there is to do is choose the access type. Select the access type from the list and choose the subtype. When you click Next, you are taken to the next step in the application, the Permit Location tab. The Permit Location screen is where you indicate the location of the permit. You will indicate the location on the map by marking it. Once you mark the location, most of the data below will automatically populate in the fields. Click on the map to mark the location. Next, zoom in using the Zoom In button. You may also zoom into the map by choosing the county from the county drop-down list. Click on the Zoom In button until you are at the street level. Click this button to draw a line marking the permit location. When marking the location, click on or very close to a state road. Click once to begin drawing the line. Move the mouse to draw the line and double click to end the line. Once you select the permit location, it will populate the fields below. Although some of the fields were populated when the permit location was marked, not all of the fields were populated. You must enter all of the mandatory data marked with an asterisk. There is a short description of the proposed work site. Below that, there is a description field where you may add to the description of work. Click Next to move to the Additional Information tab. Select all options that apply to your permit. Click Next to upload required documents. The next step in the permit application process is uploading all required documents and any you deem relevant. The only file type you may upload is a PDF file. You may only upload one document for each document type. You may upload the same file more than once creating multiple versions of the file. To upload a document, click on the Select PDF Only button to the right of the document type. Select the file and click Open. You may upload multiple miscellaneous documents. Click the Review and Submit button. Once you have uploaded the documents, review the information in the Permit form. If you need to make any changes, click on the Edit button for the section. Make your changes and save them. Click Next. Click Review and Submit. Acknowledge that you are authorized to submit this request by checking the checkbox and click Submit. Once submitted the request successfully, a confirmation appears. Once you submit the request, it will appear in the Submitted Access Permits list and the notification email is sent triggering the approval process. To see where the request is in the approval process, click on the twisty, the arrow pointing to the right. Once expanded, it will display where the request is in the approval process. Thank you for viewing how to submit a permit request.